During a meeting with President Moon Jae-in, the nation's political leaders called on Tokyo to immediately retract export restrictions against Seoul. However, they have not been able to reach an agreement on passing the extra budget bill that should help support local firms affected by the retaliatory measures. Shin Zemin has our top story. United against Japan's export restrictions that aim at undermining the heart of the Korean economy, President Moon Jae-in and the heads of the nation's five main political parties agreed to form a pan-national emergency cooperation body on Thursday. The government and rival political parties have agreed to bipartisanly cooperate in the face of Japan's economic retaliatory measures and run a pan-national emergency cooperative body. During the rare meeting, the first of its kind in over a year, President Moon Jae-in and the leaders of the parties shared a mutual understanding that Japan's export curbs are an unfair economic measure that goes against free trade principles. Standing in unity, the president and the National Assembly leaders called on Tokyo to immediately withdraw its export control of core materials necessary in the manufacturing of semiconductors and display panels. Japan should clearly realize that additional measures such as removing Korea from its whitelist of trusted trade partners clearly jeopardizes not only bilateral relations, but also the security and regional cooperation in Northeast Asia. As for sending an envoy to Japan, President Moon reportedly said such a deployment of a high-level official is possible at any time, but added that doesn't always mean it will be the ultimate solution and said negotiations should take place first. Moon added that in order for the nation to be better prepared to face the current challenge, rival political parties need to pass a supplementary budget bill still in limbo at the National Assembly. Uh, Still, with the country's political leaders, both the president and the party chiefs not being able to reach bipartisan consensus on the supplementary budget bill, the issue of financial aid to Korean firms as well as the economic malaise of the Korean economy may remain challenges for the time being. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.